As many of our viewers know, I'm from Argentina, moved to the US when I was a kid. And I have one of the most insane stories that I have heard of of possible corruption to tell you about from Argentina. You are not going to believe this. Over the weekend, I was in Massachusetts and my dad was saying to me, hey, I don't know if you've heard, but uh, there's this Argentinian prosecutor. His name's Alberto Nisman. He has accused the president of Argentina, Christina Kirchner, of obstructing an investigation into the 1994 bombing of a Jewish center. Now, for people who don't know, in 1994, a Jewish center in, in Argentina was bombed. Uh, it left 85 people dead and 300 injured. Much of the intelligence has pointed very directly to Iran for this. And Alberto Nisman has, of course, pointed out over time that there are uh, Iranian terror cells operating in South America, including in Argentina, and most recently has actually uh, uh, declared and was set to testify today that Argentina, uh, that the the administration involving Christina Kirshner and also the foreign minister Hector Timmerman were um, going to be cutting a deal potentially that would prevent real prosecution of Iran. And the prosecutor accused Iran of being behind the attack, which is more or less common knowledge, but also said that the president, Christina Kirshner, was hampering the investigation to try to curry favor with Iran. The government has denied this. So I said, oh, I'm going to look this up. This seems like an interesting story. So this morning I get to my desk and I look up the story. I type in Alberto Nisman and it turns out that late last night, early this morning, hours before he was set to formally testify to these accusations about the government, claiming that he has recordings, which he was going to be presenting at this testimony of the Argentinian administration coordinating with Iran. He's dead. He's found dead in his apartment of what is being described as a suicide. Of course, instantly this becomes a claim that many in the Argentinian media are skeptical of. Uh, but at the same time, this doesn't prove anything because you could say, hey, you know what happened, David? Uh, if you believe that the guy was lying, uh, accusing the administration uh, fraudulently, he started these accusations, David, never thinking that he would ever actually get to testify. And now that he had to testify, he knew he was lying. So he decided to take his own life. That would be kind of a very neat summation of it. Very neat and tidy, Lewis. What others are hypothesizing uh, are, of course, that this could have been the Argentinian government who had him killed and set it up as a suicide. But there's another theory because yesterday in the last couple of days, there's an individual who Alberto Nisman accused of being an operative in Argentina in 1994, just before the terror attack. That individual was eventually captured and killed. His son was ca uh, captured and killed over the weekend. And you could hypothesize that if there are indeed Iranian terror cells in Argentina and they found out that this son of the former accused was killed, that the Iranian official, the Iranian uh, terror cells could have organized the killing to look like a suicide of Alberto Nisman. Will we ever know? I don't know, Lewis, but this is just an incredibly shocking coincidence. This is like out of a movie. It really is. And it's perfectly possible that the, the terror cells were the ones who conducted the original attack and who, who killed uh, this man who was about to testify. And it's it's still possible that the Argentine government was obstructing the investigations. You know, they may not have been involved with the bombing, but still, if they were obstructing the investigations for one reason or another, uh, they should be held accountable. Yeah. And I still have contacts in Argentina who are defenders of this administration. And you, you it doesn't matter what you say to them. When I visit, I try to not even talk about it because you cannot convince them that this administration is at all corrupt. And if you can, they'll usually say, well, yeah, but it's Argentina. You know, we've always had corruption kind of whitewashing it all as kind of being equal and just totally dismissing all of the facts of this. It makes for some pretty complex uh, social situations, as you can imagine, Lewis, when I visit. It, uh, it it sounds terrible. You really have to prepare for that, and, yeah. uh, you know, mentally prepare for whatever may hit you.